Can't believe that. I thought we was all stranded then when she saw that earlier. It must be strange to be on a mixed sex ship. Uh, what do you mean? In the Alliance, all the ships are single sexed. So I came from a ship where my subordinates and superior officers were all female. Uh huh. I never knew the Alliance did things that way. Just measures were adopted to enforce discipline. And and does it? Eh. Uh, anyways, I can't believe all this stuff on in one station. The lady is one of the biggest resort space stations in the Alliance space. With over 100 acres of beach and forest, it's the ideal place for a vacation. Just another one of the Alliance's cutting edge technologies. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, the commander's been gone for a long time. You suppose she's finally cracked? Hey, maybe she's hiding inside of Cove, somewhere pretending to give orders to a bunch of hermit crabs. <laughs> Are you actually as possible? Ahem. We're back with some food. Crack! Who's that babe with you, Captain? Uh, deeper down the ranking, Chigara goes. Attention, all hands. It has come to my attention that the Captain wishes to see us rested up for the battle to come. Well, it's my desire to run a tight ship. Sometimes exceptions must be made for the good of the crew. So let's crack open this bottle already and get this over with. Woo -hoo -hoo! Wow, there's never seen a side of Ava. Usually she's just brought up a title thing. Well, that took, well, that took care of the food. Now I wonder who I should talk with. Let's talk, let's talk to um, Asiga. Oh, ha oh, how's it going, Captain? It's nice to be out here for a change. I never s knew stuff like this even existed, man. I definitely should have left Rivia earlier if I knew all this stuff the rest of the galaxy had. Always being coped up in the Star pal Palace was so bit boring. Nothing but dry lessons and old geezers. How'd you learn to pilot like that anyway? I stuck in some time with the simulators at Chigara's lab, but I guess I was good at this that sort of thing from the start. I read a long time ago all Rivia's girls had to learn how to pilot. The greatest pirate on the Empire was called the Shara Shar or something. It's kind of a mix between the word princess and destiny. In other words, it was the fate of the Rivia girls to become first warriors who defended the Empire. I remember reading something about that too. In fact, the practice was so long lived that most rider pilots for in the former Rivia territories are still female. In fact, we have a resident expert who could tell us much more about this. It is as Asuka speaks. In my time, princes sought to wed only to the most deadly and graceful sure. It was the dream of every girl to master the art and wed the most well-bred prince. Naturally, the Shears genes were consummated into the royal line. Her abilities were further admitted through genetic engineering. I imagine the Rivian bloodline still carries some of the genes of the Shear even millennia after my time. Further, I believe some of the engineered genes maybe have passed through the ages to the current Rivia royals as well. Then it's no coincidence that Asuka's our best pilot. All this stuff was just boring text in the books that the masters would force me to read. 
I never thought any of it m mattered. Our riders were absolute. We had no space fleets. Anyways, that's enough boring stuff. We're on the beach. Let's have fun. Oh, by the way, do you have a girlfriend, Captain? Me? No, I don't. Oh, foo foo. Are you sure? Positive, I'm afraid. Eh, uh -huh, I see. I wonder why not. War has hardened his heart. You know, a girlfriend would really help you relax. You need someone to love in war, Captain. Men seek affection in times of peril. Why does it feel like I'm being ganged up on? I can't say I have much time to consider things like that between keeping all of, of you safe. A responsibility to all of you. Protecting all of you is much more important than thinking of myself. Just the kind of answer I, w I was expecting. You never disappoint, Captain. <laughs> now, who should I talk with? Let's see, Claude. Oh, Captain! Yes, Claude? You arrived just at the right time! I got some sunscreen right here! Oh boy, here we go again. Too bad! I don't have a handsome, tall man to just deliver it all over my body! Yes, too. Yes, so unfortunate for you. I'll just squirt a bit! Right here! Claude opened the tub of the sunscreen and pointed it at her cleavage. She stood unimpressed. This scenario is not even originally anymore. Original. Claude squeezed the tub. Nothing came out save for a tiny splash of sunscreen. She tried squeezing the tub again, but to no avail. J just one moment! She stood there as the tub made f farting noises with each squeeze. I could have sworn it was a full bottle when we got here! Gah! Shields turned his head and saw the other girls. Looks like they got to it already. Oh! Someone's going to have an epic sunburn after all of this is over. N no way! Not this time, Claude. But, Captain, aren't you turned on by Claude's... But is this self? Easy, easy on the eyes, I would say. But I'm just here to relax. Take things easy for a change. I could help with that. She just took a seat on a nearby foot-up chair. So you never told me what you want out of all this. Hmm. Asker and Sola are in the this for Rivia. Ikari's in this for revenge. Chigara's here for Asuka. Chrysia's here on orders. So what are you here for? For you, Captain? Eh? Flattery will only get you so far, Claude. Claude leaned to sh into shields. Well, is it so hard to believe a young, funning little girl is swept away for by her shining hero and wants to play with him? A bit more? Claude playfully stroked Shield's chin with his her finger. You can wear your uniform as tight as you want, Captain, but that only makes me want you more. Shields shook his head. You might want to stop doing that. Doing what? Suddenly a dark shadow loomed over Claude. Well, I see our prisoner sure has been enjoying herself. Perhaps we ought to, to tighten the chains around in her neck a bit, just to remind everyone that we have some boundaries on board this ship. Kirk! She stood and backed away from the impending slaughter. There's only one way this is going to end. Sorry, Claude, but don't say I didn't warn you. But the commander! We're not on board the ship right now! Like I give a damn about that! Goodbye. It was nice knowing you. Ouch! <laughs> now who should I talk with? What about you can't just let him fight, you know? <sighs> um 
Let's see how Chigara is doing. Hi, Captain. Setting up the grill. Yes, working with my hands always was my thing. I haven't used a real grill in ages. I can't wait to try it out. Eh uh -huh. I hope it doesn't disappoint. Are you working on anything else interesting, Chigara? Uh, yes, I am. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to set up my bakery on board the Sunrider yet. To make up for the lack of necessary supplies, I've been working on inventing a fully operational food replicator. It's still in the experimental stages, but just the other day, I did manage to replicate a genetic cube which had the unmistakable taste of pain pure chocolate. Uh, that's good. It's a huge breakthrough in replication technology. Nobody's been able to replicate edible food in centuries. If the technology could be mastered, I could open an entire chain of bakeries throughout the galaxy. I could even provide my pastries to any home kitchen. That's always been your dream, huh? Yes, Captain. You're an awful far away from being a baker girl right now, though. E yes. Even if I could do some many f other things, I've always wanted to open a bakery. <laughs> I guess I prefer a quiet and peaceful life over the ga galactic heroics, Captain. I've always imagined that I would set up a shop in a quaint little neighbourhood. All the kids would run in during lunchtime for the pastries. In the afternoon, the neighbourhood ladies would come by to buy pa pastries for their families, and I would be at the counter all day, smiling and waiting for the next customer. We'll live up above the stone on the second floor, and eventually we'll even have a little children running around to carry on the business. <laughs> um, um, please ignore that last bit, Captain. Really? Captain, please forget what I just said. But it was such a nice story. No! I was just lost to deep in my fantasy. No, no, no. Not that it was a fantasy, I mean. <laughs> Shields patted Chigara on the hit on her head. Don't worry, Chigara. I know. <sighs> you. I'll just go back to work now. She would help Ivor out with the food now. Oh, can we talk to everyone? She has arranged the meat on the grill while Ivor scored vegetables on wooden rods. You know, doing this makes me feel almost at home. I can imagine doing this at the beach on Syria. I remember when Mary was still young and the whole family would go to the beach together. We should have gone to the beach one last time before I left. I don't know why I didn't think of it. Captain, please do not get overly sentimental. I do not wish to have to blame the onions if you are seen by the crew crying. So what made you change your mind? Captain. It's a rare sight to see you more than an arm's length from a stack of documents much less dressed up like that I fulfill your orders to the letter that's the only reason perhaps a little break every now and then isn't so bad I don't remember ever going to the beach for family I'm afraid some favorites are lost in my family not even once I do not recall we went together one summer when you were 16. Oh please, like I had the time for that when I was 16. Even back then you brought paperwork with you and tried to do it on the beach. Not that you were successful. You're making this up. Actually it was a student council team building up trip. 
I remember only because I was the one who organized it. There was this one chick in the team who just wouldn't shut up. She'd be texting with one hand without even looking at the screen and yelping about something totally different at the same time. I never figured out how she did that. Reminds me of a certain someone. There was another girl who seriously must have worn the same hair ribbon every day? I swear, couldn't she have at least change the colour every day that same damn red ribbon? I wonder how she even washed it. I remember I had to sit behind her for a month and I couldn't see anything else except the red ribbon. <laughs> ah, cause you me. Where have your crushes? You must have liked staring at that red ribbon all day instead of learning ge galactic history. You remember her? How did she always start spinning her hair in her fingers whenever she was nervous? No, only you would remember a detail like that, Captain. Really, that takes me back though. Ivor dropped the vegetables and went over to Shield's side. What's wrong? The onions are strong. I should never have put my hands in my face to my face. What? How strong could they be? Shouldn't. Shields went over and picked up an onion. Oh, oh, damn! Shields groaned and backed away. I'm suddenly getting flashbacks to when they shot us with nervous gas during training. Permission to be excused. Uh, granted, and get me a pack of ice for my eye while you're at it. God, careful, you will be beware of onions. Ask her let the sea breeze whiff through her hair. Here, they can even simulate the wind. She caught a glimpse of shields and turned her head. As she, as if caught in a trance, Asuka gazed at him. Her lips parted as she felt like her face... We can. Captain. Chikara! Urk! Uh, Claude? Guess what? What? This is your perfect opportunity to tell the captain how you feel about him. Uh, C -C Claude, that's supposed to be a secret. Who knows, maybe this hot weather's getting to him, and he'll want to blow off some steam with you. No way, no way, I'm not going to. Oh, really? Then I guess it's alright if I take him off myself. N no. <laughs> you better make your move quickly then. Tick. Seriously, you two are acting like the two junior high girls. It's not a big deal. Just tell him how you feel, Chigara. Uh, and then what if he doesn't like me? It's not like it's the end of the world. Then you just move on. But, but I'm not sure I, if I could. Ugh, you're so hell hopeless. Hey, hero girl. Help me talk some sense to your friend here. M me? Yes, you. Tell her that keeping her feelings to herself won't accomplish an out of good. A lot of good. You've already been through hell and back, Chigara. Come on. Compared to what we've already have been through, what's there to be scared about? And who knows? Tomorrow... One stay quantum torpedo could end it all. And the captain would never have known that there was a girl named Chigara who liked him. Are you gonna let that happen? Uh, you... Ugh, I hate shit like this. Come on, hero. Give me some backup. Uh, uh yeah, Chigara, you can do this. Remember how you're always repairing me whenever I get busted in the up in battle? You say my hide more than I can count. Uh, basically, what I'm saying is that you're my friend, the best one I've ever had. You can do this, Chigara. I believe in you. 
Remember, I can always snatch the captain away. You know, I've always touched his thing. Eh. I, I must say, it was quite impressive. Uh, for, 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 for. Can't breathe. Uh, uh, uh. Good going, you idiot. You broke Chigara. Ah, oh, we need to put her back together. Asuka splashed some water on Chigara's head. You. Okay, I'm going to do it. You're going to give the captain a... Uh... Oh! <laughs> he just, she just whacked her in the face. Claw was cut off through swift application of Ikari's kick. Ouch! A, a punch me, but a kick? <laughs> Alright, we just have to lure the command away from him. Boop Rockets, you and me. We want to plow our diversionary tactics together. After it's done... We'll all go celebrate at the nearest Stardust. Ha ha! Akai marched away with Claude in tow. Y yeah! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs>